Hi everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy in Hartsville, South Carolina. Now here's a very unusual looking flower. Does this flower scare you? Maybe it should. This is the flower of a witch hazel. The word witch in witch hazel is spelled W-I-T-C-H, just like the witches in fairy tales. But it originates from a much older word, witch, spelled W-I-C-H-E, which simply means limber. The name was given to the plant because of the wiry nature of its limbs. Because of its flexible nature, it's been a popular plant to be used in making divining rods. Now in case you're not familiar with divining rods, their device is made out of tree limbs that many people believe can be used to find underground water. These people believe that if you're holding the divining rod properly while walking over a source of underground water, the rod will bend down and point to the water. This somewhat magical quality being attributed to the plant may be why its name has transitioned from its old form to the present day form, W-I-T-C-H. And the plant has another somewhat magical quality. When the plant stems are crushed and brewed down, an elixir is created that is soothing to the skin. Native Americans and early settlers both took advantage of this quality. Witch hazel water is still sold today in drugstores for the treatment of rashes. As interesting as the history of this plant is, my favorite thing about it are these fantastic looking galls. Plant galls are abnormal growths on plants caused by various insects and other organisms. There are many different types of plant galls. An entire field of study is dedicated to them. It's called Cecidology. The spiny witch hazel galls that we see here are caused by female aphids. They occur when the aphids feed on the juices inside of flower buds. The aphids mouths are shaped like straws. They can only inject digestive fluids and draw out plant fluids. While feeding, she introduces chemicals into the plant that causes the galls. The gall will continue to grow until it completely envelops her. Safe inside the gall, she'll start reproducing asexually. There are lots of tiny aphids living inside these galls right this minute. You probably have noticed all of the ants hanging around these galls. 
in the process of feeding and trying to get all the nutrients they need, aphids tend to take in much more sugar than they can use. They excrete the excess sugar in the form of a substance known as honeydew. These ants can't resist it. It looks to me like the honeydew is somehow seeping out of the galls and the ants are collecting it. Trick or treat.